Paul Shepard here. You know, there's some great work happening at Sydenham Heritage United Church right now around the building. And uh, just, we just want to show you some of the things that are happening. They're in progress, but uh, I want you to hear from some of the people who have been working so hard on a building. So here we go on a little bit of a building tour. Enjoy. As you can see, the new floor is all, all, has all been finished and uh, it looks great. Um, in the fellowship room, the kindergarten room, the hallway here, and the three office areas. It aims the photocopier room and, um, and Bill's old office. Um, that, this project has been uh, in the works for 18 months uh, when, uh, when we decided to paint the fellowship room and, uh, and get things done. Uh, most of the money uh, will have come from um, Marilyn Small's estate. She donated money and also uh, congregational members donated almost $7,000 towards it. So uh, that will cover most of the cost. Uh, it will be uh, a little bit of an excess of $20,000 uh, to finish, but uh, it's a beautiful floor. It will last for years. And uh, once we get uh, some uh, baseboard painted here in the hallway, it will look much better too. Uh, and uh, we've got the paint for that. So that's about the story of this. Um, and I hope everybody uh, it likes it and uh, comes in and, and has a look. Welcome to Sydenham Heritage's new choir room. We've waited a long time for this, and um, if you just take a second and take a look around, you'll see that there are quite a few changes made in here. We now have a designated area for our music director. We have loads of storage. We now have a corner closet that we'll be turning over to the Worship Commission so they can store all the wonderful things we see in the sanctuary. Our cupboard closets are all gone now and we have gorgeous storage areas which I've just finished reorganizing. So all of our music is now in a designated spot. We have storage for uh, keyboards and instruments. We have storage for our cantatas. And we still have this gorgeous meeting area um, that we can fully utilize for meetings, for Sunday mornings, waiting to go out to sing when we finally get back to sing. So I can hardly wait for you to come in and see the room yourself. We're waiting for you. Okay, as part of our audio, video, and online stream is uh, coming along. We've had to uh, get new video equipment, new um, soundboard, and we thought we'd, at the same time we'd move the controls over to the center. So Tom Hunt and uh, Norm Greenfield built us a new platform out here, which is a great platform. It will have a tower here and a tower at that end. With our desk in here, and we'll have all the computer equipment, the sound boards, two monitors, so we can see what we're uh, projecting. And in addition to that, what we're projecting here that goes out to the internet, we're going to be able to watch over in the auditorium. So, if you look down here, we have a rat snake down here. We've got all these wires from here. We have a real rat's nest here. So this all has to be changed and moved over to there, so it's going to be, it's going to be a big job, and I'm glad I ha don't have to do it. So when we finish here, we'll, we will be the state of the art, and we want to thank Alan Cook and his foundation for making this all possible. And that's it. Okay, so we're pulling this platform out because we don't need it. The rail, I'm not sure yet if you want to put it up here. We're going to keep it for a possibility of a remount or make it for its portable, but we can just put it up as needed and bolt it in. See, it's going to give you a little more room. You can put another row of chairs in here. Wheelchairs would be closer. You can set up a band in there easier. Set a band up easier. Able to move the piano out to the center Put for the piano a concert. even up here out of the way if we have wanted or needed. I believe it's a piece that we've never needed and it's taken up 
six or seven feet of space. In 1961, this wasn't here. This was, you used to have the pulpits here on either side, or maybe just one in the center. And then in the mid to late 60s, this was all redone to redo the choir loft. They took out the side entrances that were there for the men from the choir room. And now they have to come up yeah, here and then go in. That's right. Um, that, that's their preference. Yeah. This, I, I agree with everybody, needs to go. We'll uh, redo it. You won't. It's and pretty rare. When you get I think it'll look better yeah. in, the, in the for the future. And everything will be good. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little tour and a preview of what you'll see when we start to come back into the building space. Just one thing I want to add is that the um, Norm and others were a little hopeful about the nature of this uh, platform. It turns out that there's actually no floor underneath the platform, only a subfloor. So uh, instead, the, the platform will be retained, but the carpet's been removed and it will be stained and sanded and all to match the sanctuary floor, which will be really nice. And as Norm said, the rail has been removed and it's going to open up the space anyway, but the platform itself will remain. But you'll see pictures just as soon as the work is done. Take care.